Hey everyone, it's Alicia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did this purple, pink, and orange freestyle eyeshadow look. And it's in collaboration with my friend Maisha right here on YouTube. So if you would like to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Hey guys and welcome back to the Disney Channel. Now let me stop playing around before they copyright my damn video. I'm going to start off by priming my lids using the Fiona Styles Perfect Finish Concealer in the shade 10. Then I'm going to blend it out using my Alter Ego Concealer Brush and then I'm going to set it all in place using my BH Cosmetics Number no. 3 brush to set it in place with the Cody Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. For today's look, I'm using the Profusion Cosmetics Festival Palette and I'm going in with the shade Headliner and using my e.l.f. Concealer Brush to apply this as my brow bone highlight. Now using an e.l.f. Blending Brush, I'm going in with the shade B and this is going to act as my transition shade for this look today. This whole palette was so pigmented, I, oh my gosh, I fell in love with it. I've had it for a little over a month now, but because of so many palettes that I have, it's been difficult to play around with as many as I want to. But luckily today I was able to because my friend Maisha, we're doing a collaboration and I told her that she could pick out the theme, she could pick out the palette, even the color scheme and she chose this palette and I'm so happy that she did because I absolutely fell in love with it. And yeah, you're just going to see how bomb the pigmentation comes out in this whole look. Using a different e.l.f. blending brush, I went into the shade totally and I applied this slightly below my transition shade and right above my crease. And this is going to help to marry my transition shade into my crease shade. Also, I'm going to link Maisha's video in the description box down below. So be sure to go check it out and to show her video some love. Now I'm going into the shade Audacious Plum by Star Crush Minerals and using my Morphe M169 to apply this shade directly into my crease. It is a loose shadow so I'm only patting a little at a time to deposit it into my crease and then I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics number no. 7 brush. It's from the Pink Studded Elegant set to help buff out any of the harsh edges. I wanted to use a purple for this look and unfortunately there isn't a purple, well a matte deep purple in the palette so that's why I had to use something else. Loose shadows, be very careful and apply a little at a time because if you apply too much, it's really difficult to try to blend this out. But Star Crush Minerals has such great loose eyeshadows. I absolutely love them. The quality, the pigmentation is there and they're so easily buildable and blendable. Now I'm just going to alternate between all my previous brushes and eyeshadows to make sure that I'm blending out any harsh edges and to keep the gradient going. Just work in reverse so since I applied Audacious Plum. I'm just going backwards and then I'm gonna apply Totally, then Beat, then Headliner, then switch back and forth between Totally, Beat, and Headliner, just to make sure that I have a proper gradient. I'm using my Daler and Roundly number no. six brush and the NYX white eyeshadow base to help carve out my lid. This is going to make the colors on my lid pop the most. I'm carving out my lid and then I'm going to look out so that the base transfers past my crease that way when even when my eyes are open you can still see the colors on my lid peeking through i'm using an ulta eyeshadow brush to help blend out the base that i just placed down and to help dry it down a bit now using my morphe m326 brush i'm going to apply the shade sunnies to the inner part of my lid do you guys see how pigmented and vibrant this yellow is? Oh my freaking gosh. When I started to pat it on, I literally screamed inside. This is such a beautiful yellow. I'm using this small brush because it's really easy to get into the as close to the crease without overlapping it and it gives me such precision and control. Now I'm going into the shade Crochet and I'm going to apply that right next to the yellow. I'm using the exact same brush. All I did was wipe it off in between the colors that I'm using. But this burnt orange is such a beautiful shade. It's such a beautiful color. The quality of the pigment, I'm just, I'm at a loss for words. This is such a bomb ass palette. Now I'm using my Morphe M408 brush and I'm going back into the shade Totally and I'm applying this on the outer part of my lid. I'm so happy that my Isha picked this palette because I'm just in love with it. Like everything is just blending great. It's building up great. There's minimal fallout. I'm just, I'm just so happy right now. Like, oh my God, I'm unbelievably giddy. Going back to my M169 brush, I'm applying some more Audacious Plum to my outer V and then I'm going to blend it and slightly overlap it onto that shade totally. 
That way I'm going to start to create the gradient on my lid that I created on my crease and on my transition and above crease. Then I'm just going to alternate between brushes. I'm mainly going to go back and use the M326 brush and go back into the shades Sunnies as well as Crochet. And I'm going to slightly overlap the colors so that it starts to create that blend and you don't see such harsh lines in between each shade. Now to prep my lower lash line, I'm going back in with some concealer to clean everything up. And then as you can see, I'm starting to create the shape of that sharp wing right before I start to bring it all the way out towards the tail of my brow, following the lower lash line, just following it at a diagonal angle. This step, it takes practice, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes so ridiculously easy. Then I'm just going to blend it out using my alter ego brush and then set it all in place. I'm using the Wet n Wild Makeup Liner in the shade Electric Purple to act as a guide for me to place the glitter down as well as to give it a blank canvas so that the yellow and the orange don't peek through from underneath the glitter. As I'm waiting for the liner to dry, I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to start by applying the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk to my waterline. That way the shade Sunnies has something to adhere to. I'm going to be using my Darla and Rowney number two brush to apply it. Now I'm applying Audacious Plum as close to my waterline as possible and I'm using a smudge brush from out of this really cheap brush set that I got from Marshalls. And then I'm just going to go back in with the shades Totally and the shades Beat to smoke out and blend out the lower lash line. So for this step, I'm using three different things. I'm using the Profusion Glitter Liner from the Mixed Metal Set, as well as the Heartbreaker Glisten Bolt Glitters Loose Glitter and the Ballerina Dream Coastal Scents Loose Glitter. And I'm applying that over the purple liner that I placed earlier. And the reason I mixed these three together is because I wanted like this pinky purple blue glitter to like really make the look pop. And I really love how it all came together by me doing it like this. Now I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara to coat my top and bottom lashes. I wanted some really bold and flirty lashes for this look, so I'm wearing the Rebel Access So Cute Lashes. And Jody, who's the owner of the company, was so sweet, she sent these out to me. And I've just been obsessed with them for the last couple of weeks now. And you're definitely going to see a lot more looks with me using these. And to complete the eyes, I'm going in with my BH V9 pencil brush and I'm applying headliner as my inner corner highlight. So I did the rest of my face off camera and this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also stop by and see Maisha's video as well. I hope to see you guys all soon. Bye.